Good morning, friends of the sun. I hope you're all doing very well. I'm in Lanzarote since Monday. It's very nice and warm and sunny here. Um, I haven't actually left uh, the apartment though, <laughs> except for the supermarket. Um, it's been it's been a lot of work. Uh, we're also working on the Ocean Globe race, of course, um, and uh, there's lots going on there. So busy, busy as usual. Uh, but I guess when the guys are here, we're going to take the the rental car um, on the weekend and uh, see a little bit of the island. Uh, Man Manrique, they, there's a famous famous artist. Um, I want I want to see a bit of him, um, of his art. Uh, there are some some very interesting caves here to see. So uh, we will see. And um, but for now, uh, I'm I'm here in this little Airbnb, which uh, which even has posters like this: "Love Life." But the best one is, it's got this one, which says, home sweet, only home sweet. <laughs> I'm not sure if they forgot the second home, but maybe it's, maybe, maybe they thought, ah, you know, um, home sweet home is always so overkill and overused. We just say home sweet, home sweet. And indeed it's a home, it's a sweet home. It's a nice little, nice little studio, um, and I'm uh, yeah, I'm very very happy to be here. So, uh, let's get right to the topic, um, to the important part of this, uh, the fleet. Where are they? What are they doing? And if we start from the back, actually, <laughs> this morning when I looked at the tracker, it looked a bit like um, Michael is uh, is going is going for Madeira, <laughs> and I thought, oh, something happened there. Um, but now he's bearing a little bit south again. So you see. He did this, um, I can toggle the wind off, um, he did this little <laughs> 90 degree turn and uh, but now is heading a bit further south again. I'm not sure what's going on there, um, maybe because the wind is lightening, uh, maybe he just wants to get a better, better angle to the wind, but um, I, will, I will have to ask him when he's there, when he gets here to Lanzarote. He's doing 3.7 knots, which is not too bad, um, and uh, but not, not necessarily in the right direction. So let's see what happens during the day if he bears further south. Meraki uh, is doing a very, very steady, um, steady course now since a couple of days. There's some, some S, some, um, some uh, snail, uh, how do you call it? Um, yeah, some some wobble track, <laughs> and uh, but he's he's making way south, um, and he's not last anymore. So he's second last, and uh, well done. Then we have uh, biggest monkey, who's uh, who's kind of heading for Agadir. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, if he wants to get there. Um, he must be a little bit pressured because he has a flight back from Lanzarote on the 19th in four days, uh, which which should be fine. I mean, if we if you look at the um oh that's me no um that's me a little bit smaller there you go um if we toggle the ruler over it and have a look how far it is so it's 230 miles it's not too much wind so i guess it will be about two and a half three days so that will get him in from the 18th so it's going to be tight <laughs> and he has to take the boat out as a pocket before he flies back home to the Netherlands. So for now, he's uh, uh, the YB calculator takes him to early morning of the 18th. So that's that's still looking all right. And then uh, we have Trekker, which something something that I noticed um, from the beginning, if you look at the track, of all the boats and uh, then of of Trekker here. All right, maybe I can toggle it a bit. No, no. Um, you see that his line, his uh, his track, is much more straight than most of the others. So especially here, you see, like it goes very nicely down. I'm I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's with his experience on the GGR boats and and you know that. So he did 2018, 2022. Um, and he saved a lot with wind vanes. However, that being said, I don't know if Jack has sailed a lot with wind vanes as well or any of the other guys. And um, or it's sail balance, uh, but it's very interesting. It's just something that I noticed, even though it doesn't necessarily make him make him uh, faster. But it's certainly always good to sail um, the most effective route and uh, the least um, wobble track, uh, the least snail track. 
um, and and keep the boat on, on on track very very well. So I noticed that he's doing very well. Um, maybe you have seen the message. He lost. Uh, he blew. He didn't know. He didn't blew the spinnaker. He he lost the shackle. Um, probably the halyard shackle. Um, of uh, of the A, well, we don't really know. He just said the smallest spinnaker, probably the A3, um, that he used the most. So that slowed him down a bit. Um, however, the wind is getting lighter and lighter again, and I'm pretty sure he's flying the big. He's he, he will be flying the big the big sails, big Jenica, the big um, ASIM, uh, or any any codes. He's doing 3.6 knots at the moment, um, averaged 91 miles over the last 24 hours. And, uh, and then we have right now, we have uh, Jack and he's still doing 4.2 knots, uh, still logging more than 100 miles a day. So he's doing a, he's doing a really good sail. He's very solid, very consistent, consistent in, in his speed. Um, if we look at the recent uh, velocity made good, the recent uh, VMG, the velocity made good is um, the speed where the most effective way they made to the to the destination. Um, so if you say like if you say like um, like Michael at the moment, ninety degrees away from the course. It will basically take down your VMG uh, because you're not really making that much ground to the to the destination. So the VMG is calculating based on this on this red line here, the rumble line, um, who's if who's who's sailing actually in the right direction, um, and that's the uh, velocity made good. And then the 24 hour, the average is distance made good. So that's DMG. That's that's unimpeded by the rump line. So that's the actual miles they have sailed through the water. Anyway, um, so he's doing he's doing very well. Um, he's doing again, yeah, 103 miles in the last 24 hours. So that's perfect. And at the moment, it will get him in on the 17th uh, at three o'clock in the morning. So that's actually tomorrow night. <gasps> Uh, and then uh, he will be in, so that's pretty cool. Um, but to be seen a bit because, um, as you see here already, it's getting lighter and lighter. So they have this this nice little um, acceleration um, here at the moment uh, with some good breeze. But if we take it down to tonight, the breeze increases a little bit, and then tomorrow, actually, actually the breeze stays very well. Um, the breeze will stay until, well, that's perfect. Huh? The breeze will stay until noon the 17th and then it gets lighter and lighter. So they got to come in before noon the 18th. Otherwise it gets a little, it get really light. Ooh, look at that. So that's the 19th. So they should be all in by then. Um, that's pretty good. So <laughs> pretty good that they started the day earlier, huh? because otherwise the last ones would get into this this big hole. And then, uh, oh, that's very interesting here. That's very unusual. These kind of south westerly, uh, southeasterlies. Ah, there's this big low coming in here. That sucks up all the wind. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, talking about the Azores high. Um, this is how it looks if it's not there. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, the low tracking that far south. Anyway, um, so yeah, all looking very good. Looks like they're gonna they they have a bit of lighter winds uh, now, but it will increase tonight, and uh, and then they're gonna have a nice last oh, a nice last push towards the Canaries. If we have a look at the waves, still very, very easy, all easy. Half a meter to one meter swell. So yes, very relaxed. Um, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a very, it's been a very easy, easy qualifier so far. Um, easy in, in, in what sense? Um, easy in a way that uh, they rather had to tackle with light winds um, than too much wind. I remember last uh, in 2021 the qualifier was actually quite windy and um they they had quite a quite a breeze down I think it was like 34 35 40 knots um that Don tracked on on tracker uh before they then had it across the the Atlantic 
So this is a very different qualifier to 2021, and it's very interesting. It's a light wind, light wind qualifier, um, which also t shows a lot about skill, um, I think, um, because uh, light wind, uh, being fast with not much wind um, is a bit more challenging than, than keeping the boat on track with a lot of wind, I think, from a racing perspective. So it's pretty good. Um, and oh, the last thing I want to, I want to see, I want to have a look at is the distance so if we take this line here to biggest monkey that's 34 and 50 miles there you go 50 miles 50 miles so if you take this radius um nice jack put uh, half a day sail 50 miles in between him and the others and the and the next followers which is pretty good on a on a five six day um on, after four days how long have they been gone now um they've been uh five days huh? yeah four days four days so within four days jack put half a day um lead between him and the fleet so that's not bad that's not bad i think we we have a hot contender for for the transat here that's going to be very interesting to watch. All right, enough of this. Um, I wish you all a very happy, happy Wednesday. And um, I will probably follow up again. Yeah, the next one will probably be a little video of uh, seeing Jack coming into port. Um, that's it. Cheers. And don't forget to also check out the Ocean Globe race. They are already in the Southern Ocean. Things, a lot of, a lot of things are happening there. Um, they are rushing along. They are doing uh, nine, ten knots, and uh, flying towards uh, Australia. If you, if you haven't noticed, so we, we don't have exclusion zones. We have waypoints, so they don't go too far south, um, and uh, to avoid the ice. And um, that actually gets them. So in the DGR, we had, we had a exclusion zone somewhere along here and uh, that should be like something like 40 40 south i think um and now we have uh, just the islands as waypoints and uh, they can go further south which uh, gives them a much better rump line or much much better um uh, direct line to to australia and here, yeah, Penduik 6 doing 10 knots, rushing along, first in all the classes and line on us. Oh, you. And um, we probably we expect them. What's the expected time? Penduik estimated finish time 10th of December. There you go. They still got uh, about three more weeks to go. Exciting times, huh? 10 to 12 people on each boat. Um, we have about 150 people sailing <laughs> there at the moment. It's uh, it's a lot of people in there. Um, very exciting. So, but I'm absolutely excited and looking forward to see our mini sailors, um, our 580 sailors coming to Lanzarote, um, which will be very good fun. Um, I actually going to meet them all for the first time, except for Ayrton. Uh, and um, we have this, little Opel Corsa rental car so we are gonna stuff them all in there and uh, take them around the island and the next week we do want to do some briefings um, and then we sent them off on the 25th of November it's good fun I love this I love this 580 so so much it's such a cool project um, Don is putting so much into this uh, Don and Jane um, as you can imagine with uh, now four entrants um, there's not much money in this uh, he's not in <laughs> No one's getting wealthy from from the 580, um, but we're doing this because we love we love 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 the 580 so much. And then uh, next year is the mini globe race. Uh, so next year is another transat. And then in, uh, in February 2025, um, there will be the mini globe race um, around the world. And we're getting more and more boats lined up for that as well. So it's absolutely it's an absolutely epic adventure, um, all in these 5.8 meter home built plywood boats. We love it. Okay, I have another coffee and I wish you a nice Wednesday. Oh, I got a little bit chatty here. <laughs> Lots of love. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.